So today we're gonna set up a dry circuit for our ECMO. First, you're going to open the HLS set in a sterile fashion and you're gonna leave all the contents inside. You're gonna don sterile gloves after you put the pigtails inside the box. Try to be as sterile as possible. You need three pigtails. And you also need three sterile plates. Now you'll don your sterile gloves. Once your sterile gloves are on, you're gonna attach your pigtails to the pre, post, and the other pre box of your oxygenator. Sometimes it's easier to take off this Velcro strap that's on the oxygenator. Start with the blue. Okay. Once the straps are removed, you'll be able to move the oxygenator around in the box. So take your pigtail. I'm going to place it here at the top and it's this one with the cap you're going to remove the cap and attach your pigtail there not this one because this is where your yellow cap goes so this one right here and you're going to find another pigtail same thing here you're going to remove this cap and attach your pigtail there Going to remove the last cap right here and attach our last pigtail there. Okay, so now you will take the oxygenator out from the box and then you will place it on your cardio health. can only go in one way. You place it in and then you turn it to the left. Then you'll hear the click. Then you're going to close your safety guard and place your circuit on top. Now you'll attach the prime bag to the circuit. Place your prime bag on your pole. You're going to attach blue to blue and red to red. So there's quick connects here. You're going to take your quick connect off. You're going to push the button and pull. Push the button and pull it off. And then you're going to attach your blue to here. and then your red goes to your red. Okay. Once that's done, then you will take your green oxygen tube that's located in the box and you will attach it to your oxygenator. and then you will connect the other end to your blender. Next thing, you will place your heater cooler lines onto your oxygenator. I do this step last because you're now done with all the sterile parts of putting the oxygenator together. It's easy if you pull down here, attach it to here, and then sometimes I just 
turn it until it clicks. Sometimes you have to turn it a couple of times until it clicks. Then you will take your flow probe, which got tangled up. You'll take your flow probe and place it on the return line with the arrows facing your patient. So you will push the button, open it, and face it towards your patient. And remember, always use your fingers when putting on the flow probe, never the door of the flow probe, or you could break the flow probe. It's kind of difficult when there's um, nothing in this tubing, but just remember to use your fingers and then close the door. Um, last thing, you're gonna wait to put your um, Venus probe on. You do that whenever you're priming. You're gonna put your um, other sensor here. You're gonna put that at the top of your oxygenator right here. Kinda can only go in one way. Here. That is now ready to prime. This is a dry circuit setup. So from our previous setup, we wanna make sure that our Roberts clamps are clamped on our return line and our or a drain line. There's two rubber clamps on each. So now we're ready to prime. So first thing you're gonna do is plug it in and turn on your heater cooler. You wanna make sure you have filled up your heater cooler with sterile water. Once your heater cooler turns on, you're gonna set it to prime. I'm gonna hit Now we're ready to turn on our cardio help machine. We're gonna power it on. And you're going to activate the global override. To do that, you're gonna hit your S and your triangle. So once you're in global override, you're gonna select the appropriate app for your patient. You're gonna hit your grid, the app, and you're gonna select what works for your patient. We're gonna do VV for this patient the green check mark and green check mark so now we're ready you're going to zero each of your pressure pressures you're going to hit this button to give you all the pressures you're going to select your PV you're going to hit zero you can only zero your pressures when the lines are dry so we're going to hit yes and then green check and that's zeroed our PV you're going to do the same thing for our, for our P int, zero, check, check, and then our P art, zero, check, check. So now everything is zeroed. Now we're going to fill our prime bag with two liters of isolite via the quick, uh, the quick spike right here. Not this one up here. It doesn't prime very fast, so you need to use this one. So I always clamp it. Take off your cap, spike your bag, and then unclamp, and it's going to prime. If you have your Roberts clamps clamped here, it will automatically go to your prime bag. You can squeeze the isolite into the prime bag to make it a little bit faster and easier. If we were doing a circuit exchange, that's when you would do half isolate and half albumin. But if it's a brand new setup on a new patient, we're gonna use two liters of isolate. There's two liters of isolate in the ECMO um, small cart that's in the sleep rooms. You also can find it back in the OR. You may not get all two liters in here, but you want as much of it as you can. Once you feel like you've got enough in there, which I have almost all two liters in, I'm gonna clamp it. Do not unhook it yet. I'll just hook it up to my hole. Now we're ready for the next step. So now you're gonna open up the Roberts clamps on your red line and then your blue line. So these Roberts clamps right here. You're gonna open up here, one and then two, and then you're gonna open it up on your blue line, one, 
and then two. And now it's going to passively prime. You may have to move your prime bag to make sure it doesn't suck any air and it only gets the isolate. You also want to make sure your lines don't get kinked up here because then you won't get any isolate out of the prime bag. You may have to untangle some things and that's okay. Okay. So once the oxygenator is full, what you're going to do is you're going to take a syringe, a new syringe, and you're going to prime all of your pigtails. Remember the clays were placed on these whenever we set it up and there should always be a green cap on. So we're going to take the green cap on off, attach your syringe and you're going to prime. And you're going to do each one of your pigtails, all three of them. And that last one's always kind of hard to find. It may have got stuck underneath your circuit, but it's right here. So now the passive prime is done, the oxygenator is full. So now what we're going to do is we're going to increase our RPMs to 3000 for two minutes. So you may have to unlock your screen and then you're going to go up to 3000. Quickly is easiest. It doesn't have to be exactly 3000. You can do a little bit over or a little bit under, but you want those RPMs up. You should not hear any more bubbles. So see, now it's quiet. Once your two minutes is up, then you're gonna increase it to 4,000 for one minute. And like I said, you don't have to go directly to 4,000. I just go up until I don't hear any more air bubbles. So once this one minute is up, if you're still hearing air, which remember air sounds like bacon, then you will just repeat both of these processes again. You'll go to 3,000 for two minutes and then 4,000 for one minute. That you hear, we don't hear any air. So now we're going to turn our RPMs down to zero. And you're going to put the de-airing cap on your oxygenator, which remember is located right here. Let's open it up. goes right here right next to the pigtail so now you're going to put the venous probe from your safety guard onto your oxygenator so you're gonna take this off it's a little bit easier there's a button on the side you're gonna push your button and rock the venous probe off the safety guard and then you're gonna place it on your oxygenator it can only go one way and there's a little uh, tab here and a hole here, I'm gonna put it there, and then you will hear it click on. And now I know it's on, it can only go one way. And then you're gonna take your tubing clamps. So you're gonna take your two tubing clamps and you're gonna clamp above and below your flow probe. So one above and one below. And then you're gonna zero your flow probe. So you're gonna hit your flow, the zero button. And it's asking you, is it clamped? You're gonna say yes. And then you're gonna green check it. And then we're gonna remove the clamp that's closest to the oxygenator, which is right here. And we're gonna keep this clamp in place. Then we're going to reset the bubble alarm. So you're gonna hit your chain link, hit your bubble. Going to reset it and hit check. Then you're going to deactivate your global override. If I'm going right to OR, sometimes I wait to deactivate the global override so it doesn't alarm constantly while I'm back there. Um, but definitely before you place your patient on ECMO, you need to take your global override off. Um, and then you're ready to go. So you can um, take off your prime bag. By doing that, you're going to clamp here. Clamp your reds and your blues. And then you're gonna put your red to red and your blue to blue. And as sterile clean as possible, this is where I do put on 
gloves if I can. Here, so red, the blue here. And now your prime bag is disconnected and you can throw that away. And now you're ready to go to OR. Do not unclamp these because there's air inside here. So if you unclamp here, you will get air inside of your circuit. So do not unclamp these. Um, the surgeon will cut them off when you're back in OR. That's it.